Hi guys, Techie Champ here with a new video for you. Do you see this video clip going? Yes today this video is about Microsoft sue Facebook. And this video is all about its features and more. Let's continue after watching this clip. Well, the Microsoft Surface Book is the latest device released by the Microsoft company. But before we talk about its features I would first like to discuss its for and against about the laptop. 4. Current, powerful parts. Very thin and light. Gorgeous, responsive display, which I liked very much. And I am against, awfully expensive, no Thunderbolt 3. So coming back to its features. It's Microsoft's first attempt at the 2-inch minus 1 laptop was no doubt impressive. This time, Microsoft has addressed most of the main concerns lobbed at the original while digging its feet into the sand further on others, namely, the performance issues and the design, respectively. Coming to its price and availability, it should come as no surprise that the Surface Book 2 is mighty expensive, starting at $1,499. About 1,130 pounds, 1,900 Australian dollars, for the 13.5 inch model and at 2,499 dollars, about 1,885 pounds, 3,185 Australian dollars, for the new 15 inch variety, the latter of which we've spent the most time with. That being said, Microsoft has also smartly priced both versions of the device to go practically toe-to-toe -to -toe with Apple's leading 13 and 15 inch MacBook Pro laptops. This year's Surface Book 2 is more powerful than ever, it's now current with laptop hardware trends, thanks to 8th generation Intel Core i processors and Nvidia GTX 10 series graphics. The fulcrum hinge design, replete with the gap dash is here to stay. The device has become thinner and lighter than before an impressive feat and a possible consolation for the gap issue. Plus, Microsoft has introduced an even more powerful 15-inch model this year, meeting Apple's professional-focused laptops head-on cool right. When it comes to design, those of you waiting for a complete overhaul of the Surface Book design, namely those who were left nonplussed by the gap created by the first model's fulcrum hinge, can stop holding your breath. The Surface Book 2 doesn't do much if anything, to change the core design. Microsoft's iconic, the all-brushed aluminum design remains, and it's lighter and thinner than ever, at 3.38 pounds, 1,533 grams, and 0.51 to 0.90 inches, 13 to 23 millimeters, when put together. The Intel Core i7 13.5-inch model is a bit heavier and thicker, Meanwhile the 15-inch model comes in at 4.2 pounds, 1,905 grams, and 0.57 to 0.90 inches, 15 to 23 millimeters. The tablet disconnects from the base in the same way as before, a must because of the more powerful graphics located within the keyboard base, while the tablet or clipboard offers no hardwired connectivity options, save for a Surface Connect charging port. 
Microsoft seems to have made the slightly larger keyboard base employed in the Surface Book i7 model of last year the default frame for both Surface Book 2 models. To wit, the keyboard deck plateaus a bit toward its fulcrum hinge end, likely to make room for the thermals and battery needed to power the NVIDIA GPUs inside. My opinion of the tracking and typing experience on the Surface Book 2 haven't really changed since last year, either. The glass-coated precision trackpad is just as plush and responsive as ever, and the white backlit keyboard offers respectable travel and feedback. However, one piece of the Surface Book 2 design that leaves it a bit behind the crowd is the lack of Thunderbolt 3 connectivity. While the laptop offers two USB 3.1 ports, and a USB Type-C port with USB 3.1 data speeds as well as a full-size SDXC card slot, USB-C Thunderbolt 3 would have future-proofed the laptop that much further with a more widely supported standard than Surface Connect. Coming to its performance, the inking experience on this device is the best it's ever been on a Microsoft Surface product, working at the speed of our hands during our time with it. That's thanks in part to a new timing controller, Orticon, chip beneath the display, but also to quad-core processing. Plus, the GTX 1060 within the 15-inch model has been proven in countless gaming laptops to be more than enough for most 1080p gaming experiences. This, oddly enough, makes the Surface Book 2 a decent mobile PC gaming rig on top of everything else it offers. To wit, the 15-inch model includes Microsoft's Xbox wireless communication protocol for easier Xbox One controller and headset pairing. Considering that the original Surface Book lasted just 3 hours and 58 minutes for us in the PC market battery test, don't blame us for our skepticism of these claims. We'll just have to wait until we can subject the Surface Book 2 to our full testing before saying any more on the matter. But however the Microsoft has improved on its first Surface Book in almost every way with these new models. Since the design hasn't changed much, the most notable of these improvements is bringing the devices up to speed with the latest, and some of the most powerful, Intel and NVIDIA hardware. I'm quite impressed with the Surface Book 2. While it may be mightily expensive, the price is on a par with Microsoft's main competition. Stay tuned for my full review ahead of its November 16th release to see whether Surface Book 2 is truly worthy of your lap, Creative Pro or not. So stay tuned and we'll come back with another video.